In this video, we'll talk about the different types of traffic lights. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Cheyenne from Zula Driving School, and let's get right into talking about the different types of traffic lights. All right, so the different types of traffic lights. Let's just go over some of them. We have the blinking green. All right, the blinking green light. So as you're approaching an intersection, if you see that the light is a blinking green, it means that it's a pedestrian controlled intersection. If a pedestrian shows up and presses the button, then uh, you will see that uh, blinking green go to a solid green and that's your clue that okay this light is going to change on me so i should probably start preparing to slow down to stop moving on the blinking yellow and this one is a caution so you might see just a blinking yellow light at a crosswalk and that's telling you there's a hazard and you possibly may need to slow down and prepare to stop. So when you see blinking yellow, it does not necessarily mean you have to stop immediately, but if you're scanning and you see that someone is stepping out into the road, then you want to prepare to stop for them. The blinking red is essentially a stop sign. So when you see a blinking red light at an intersection or anywhere else, you need to make a full stop and treat it like a stop sign and then once you know for certain that it's safe to go, you proceed. Sometimes you will come up to an intersection that you normally drive by that has you know, the regular operation of a traffic signal, but on that particular day, perhaps the power is out and this has gone to a blinking red. And in that case, you need to just glance over at the other set of lights, see if they've got the blinking red as well. And if they do, then you know that it's, a, it's turning to a four-way stop. So. Uh, only proceed once you've made your full stop and you know it's safe to go. Let's now move on to the different types of lights you encounter when you're making a turn. So uh, let's talk about the left turn here. If you're coming up to an intersection, you might see this kind of traffic light. And this is just what we call the regular traffic light. Then you've got the four circle one, where usually this one is an advance. And this one at certain times will give you an arrow indicating that you get an advanced left turn or an advanced right turn and you know you will get a blinking usually you'll get a blinking green arrow and then the blinking green arrow gets quicker and then it goes to a yellow arrow and then it disappears and once it disappears this light turns off and you end up going to just a regular intersection light and then you also have what looks like a regular intersection light, but it says left turn signal, or it might say a right turn signal, depending on what kind of turn it is. But these ones we call the protected. So this would be a protected left. And these lights are the easiest ones to make a turn at because you can only make a turn when this light tells you that you can. The advance is uh, one step more difficult, if you will, because as you approach, if you have an advance, you can go ahead and make your turn. But once that advance disappears, you go into a regular traffic light scenario where now you, if you have a green light, have to negotiate with the oncoming traffic and figure out when it's safe to go. So the point I'm trying to make here is when you're approaching an intersection and you know that you want to make a turn, you need to identify what kind of light you're dealing with. Is it the regular, is it the advanced, or is it the protected? Because if you get to the intersection and then try to figure out what kind of light you're dealing with, what if you had a safe gap to turn and now you're, you're there, you're taking additional time that is not necessary to figure out what kind of light am I dealing with? Can I turn right now or, or do I have to wait? So these things you need to figure out half a block away or as soon as you can see the lights, what kind of light am I dealing with? now? This advanced one, sometimes there'll be a sign right beside it or below it. It will say advanced times and it will say like 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And so there is a time when this is active and there is a time when it, you, you will not get an advance. So as you're approaching, try to glance at the sign and see what is it telling you and know the time that you're driving at. Is it, if it's 6.15, don't expect to get an advance. It will most likely when the light goes from red to 
green, you only get a regular traffic light operation out of that particular light. So this all ties in with, as you're approaching an intersection, figure out what kind of light you're dealing with. So when you're there, you know what the game plan is. You're not now just figuring out what am I gonna do. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you liked it, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we have an online video training course on our website where we go over the different types of traffic lights and we actually show you footage of us dealing with each one. Now, it's one thing for me to stand here in front of a whiteboard and talk about the different types of traffic lights. It's another for you to sit behind the wheel of a car with a driving instructor or a co-ed driver beside you and figure out how to negotiate with each type of these lights. I hope to see you in another video soon.